Hi guys. This is my thrift and sustainable haul. It's my first time trying a vlog and a haul video. Also my first time doing a voiceover, so please be kind. A lot of you have asked me to do a thrift video and here it is. However, I am a shy girl in public and I could only take a few footages. I came to my local Goodwill in Mun, the closest one from my house closed down last year during pandemic, so this was my second go-to place. Best tip at Goodwill or any other thrift shop is to look at the deal. Prices at Goodwill is already affordable, however, they change their deals every day. Like if you find certain color tag items, they might be somewhat percentage discounted. So please look for the sign and have fun getting items. Here I am finding gem shop and a bunch of floating piles and shoe piles. This was a shoe section and I found a pair of boots I really liked, which I will later show you in the video. I tried a London Folk trench coat, but unfortunately because it was man's, there were too much of shoulder pads, I could not handle them. And after coming back from Goodwill, I threw all the bought items in the wash machine to have a clean clothing. And let's start the whole video. The items I'm going to show you guys first are not thrifted, but I purchased them from H&M. Now you might wonder, is an H&M fast fashion brand, how are they sustainable? But unlike other spa brands, H&M is one of the spa brands that are in the forefront of being sustainable and offering conscious shopping for consumer. I'll put a link down in the description box. By the way, this is not sponsored. Items I want to show you guys is sustainable collection from Lee and H&M collaboration. And in this collection, they focused on 100% recycled denims, but I always have a hard time finding the perfect jeans for myself. And these crop tops caught my eyes instead, so I purchased these. But the rest of the collection is really cute, so please check them out. This ribbed crop top is made from organic cotton and recycled cotton blend. There's logo in the front and long sleeves. You can't really go wrong with the lettuce ham. I styled it with white cotton jogger from H&M. It has elastic bands, size seam pockets, also an open back pocket. I got small size and it's really comfy and a lot of room for me to breathe and move. Only downside of this item is because the material is pretty thick. It's good for winter, but I'm not so sure about mid springs. Overall, really cute. Unlike the light purple crop top, it has the logo patch. This one has logo Lee embroidered in the front and middle. I style this with black sweatpants. Here I styled with Levi denim skirts I thrifted from Thailand and the boots that I thrifted earlier at Goodwill. Another H&M ripped cardigan. I styled the cardigan with inner top from Topshop and Everlane black denim, both thrifted from ThreadUp. Let's move on. This is black shoulder bag. The brand is called Stone & Company. It's my first time hearing about the brand, but I liked how it has longer handle for me to put it on my shoulder and wear it. This had lots of pockets, which you know, if you carry a lot of small and miscellaneous items, and you got so much of storage and you're good to go. I was with my mom and she saw this bag she thought it was a grandma's bag. I mean, who knows, it might be a grandma's bag. But I really vibe with it. And I really look cute with it, so it was all good. Next, we have a green vest with little stripy points at the bottom. When I looked at the vest, I thought of how Alexa Chung would style herself with vests and t-shirts together. I mean, the vest was a little fitted than I thought it would be but it's still cute.
boxes, a big short sleeve, big varsity logo of Denver. Have I ever been to Denver? No, but one day I would like to. I like how simple the shirt is and I usually get large or extra large for me to wear around the house, wear to sleep, outside, everywhere. Comfortable. Next is Fenway Park shirt. Some of you know me, I went to school in Boston and when I discovered this at my local Goodwill store, I had no choice but to buy this because it reminded me of my school days. My school was located right in front of the Fenway Park. It just gave me a lot of feels and memories. And I love muted tones, so it was a cute top. Next is Nike large size shirt. It's really a basic, you can never go wrong with the basic shirt. It's really comfortable and I like the neckline design. It's pretty unique. Next, it is coral sweater. The color was really pretty. The logo on the right side, it is this cute little design. I'm not sure where the brand is from. I'm not familiar with it, but it was one of my favorite color. And it's just really popping out. I had to buy it. Last but not least, we have Puma tracksuit. What I was looking for in the beginning was sport pants because all I wear at home is sweatpants, joggers, or other sport pants from Adidas, Nike. And I was looking for comfortable ones with longer length. And this Puma pants popped up and it was a perfect size. So I was buying it and I found that it was a suit together. And they were together for $12. The suit was really cute and I really liked it. So that was it for my thrift and sustainable haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you guys want more of this kind of video or anything else that you would like to see me film or share anything. Thank you guys so much for watching, stay tuned.